Hey everybody, my name is Ethan, and welcome to your first tutorial on nanoscience. Uh, we're going to start out real basic in this lesson. I'm just going to tell you what nanoscience is and kind of give you the scale of things. So you might be familiar with the words like uh, terabyte, microsecond, milligram, kilometer, uh, maybe not microsecond, but pretty much you might already know that all these words have a prefix and a suffix. Prefixes are underlined in blue, and they're like kilo, milla, micro, and tera, and suffixes are underlined in green, like byte, second, gram, and meter. The suffixes are all units, so you've got like a meter is a unit of distance, a gram is a unit of mass, etc. And the prefixes, like kilo and milla and micro, they're all, they tell you how much of something you have. So like a kilometer is a thousand meters, so that's ten to the third meters, so ten times ten times ten times a meter. It's a thousand meters. Here's the math for it, so 10 to the third, 10 to the negative third, etc. Nano is also a prefix, and nano means billionth. So not billion, but billionth. So that's 10 to the negative 9. So if you have a nanometer, it takes a billion of those to equal 1 meter. And that's a lot of nanometers. Uh, some interesting side history about these is that they start out with like, kilo means a thousand, I believe, in, uh, in Greek. Milla means like a thousandth in Greek, or something like that. Uh, but some interesting ones, like terra means monster. Nano means uh, dwarf, so you can say you're doing dwarf science or Snow White and a seven nanos if you want to, I don't know, be weird. Uh, and then pico, the one below nano, is actually the only Spanish prefix, and that means beak. So, weird stuff, huh? Anyway, let's continue. One nanosecond is to one regular second, as one second is to 30 years. It's kind of crazy. For more of a physical thing, one nanometer is to one regular meter, as a golf ball is the planet Earth. Holy crap. For things that you have like around you, uh, unless you're bald, the strand of human hair is 50,000 nanometers wide. Something inside of you, some DNA, that's two nanometers wide. And even an atom, and now atoms, this depends on like what kind of atom it is, how it's made up, but average atom is say a tenth of a nanometer wide, or big, whatever. On scales like this, for a tenth of a nanometer, we use a unit called the angstrom. The angstrom uh, has this nice little a little A with a circle over it. And that's what that means when you see like one A with a circle over it. It's an angstrom. That's a tenth of a nanometer or like a hundred picometers. Same thing. Nanoscience has been, it has been used for a long time and nature uses it too. Like it's not like just a man-made thing here. So here's a gecko's foot and we're zooming in on a gecko's foot here. Uh, all the way to a hundred nanometers. And this means that this line right here is a hundred nanometers. So maybe this is about 300 nanometers right here. And this is like a little suction cup. And all these suction cups on the bottom of a gecko's foot are what allows it to like stick to walls or ceilings or that kind of stuff. And that was a mystery, like how they could do that until in the last 10 years. We found this out using electron microscopes and stuff. Uh, and then even in human history, back in whatever era it was where they made these stained glass windows, well, they couldn't use this regular red dye for this. They had to use uh, a certain kind of gold dye that they would uh, grind up really, really finely. And when, it turns out when you get gold molecules to like 25 nanometers across, they do something to the light. I don't want to get into it exactly, but they do something with the light that makes it red instead of gold. And they didn't obviously understand, I mean, what atoms were or nanoparticles or whatever, but they still were able to use it way back then. This is, of course, unintentional nanoscience because it's not like nature was like, developed this in a lab, but it's still pretty cool, I think. So now that you know a little about this, we're going to get into some intentional nanoscience, and by next time I mean the next tutorial. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching and have a great day.